Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Foot Captains is here. A very highly anticipated promo is dropping today on FIFA 22. Again, we have two different cards arriving on the game today. We have brand new versions of Foot Heroes. The card design you see on the left with the extra little bit of yellow in there. And then we have the regular Foot Captains dropping on the game today. Foot Captains Heroes and Foot Captains special cards. I don't know if EA is going to call them anything different. We will find that out today. But there's a lot of excitement and a lot of preparation we've already seen heading into this week on the market for these cards dropping today. I want to take a look at everything to expect today, market-wise, content-wise, SBCs, objectives, the cards in packs, how they might look, and how the market is going to react because a lot of people, myself included, have a lot of saved up packs from this last week where there were no special cards out in the game. I did a lot of 75 plus times fives and stocked them up. I know a lot of you guys have been saving weekend league rewards, division rivals rewards, and that's going to impact the market a lot today. So we're going to spend some time talking about that and just what to expect on this massive Friday of FIFA 22 Ultimate Team all together. So if you're excited for foot captains, make sure to thumbs up on the video and of course, subscribe if you're new. Now, again, we've seen a lot of leaks already, but let's remind ourselves of what cards are going to be dropping today on this game. The promo cards, dare I say, the foot captains promo items that will be dropping on the game today. Again, we know this is not the card design that we'll see today on the game. This is, uh, you know, a concept. We'll see, of course, the regular, that, that blue gray with a little bit of yellow in there for the foot captain's cards. Here are some of the players that we should see in packs today. Mr. Hugo Yoris. That's going to be a great card for French links, especially links to Varane, all that good stuff. French links again, right? EA loves dropping French promo cards. This is one of the big hitters, the heavy hitters from today's team. Ben Yetter should be in team one today. He'll be out Probably a top two, top three card in today's promo. That's going to be a very expensive item. Also, a very sought after and a very hyped up item right there. Moving on to the rest of the team. Koke, a Hullet Gang center mid in the uh, La Liga. That's pretty nice. Mings, a really, we have to watch his pace. We talked about this on the Twitch streams earlier this week. He has a really bad pace split on his gold card. So hopefully EA give him a nice boost to his acceleration for that card today that is released. Mooney Ayan is getting a card today. Hector is getting a card today. Uh, Mark Noble, right? That's a pretty awesome card for some of you West Ham fans. Um, potentially link it to the Yarmolenko objective that just got upgraded. Some of the showdowns that EA upgraded. We'll talk about that in the video today as well. You know, that's a cool one. Mr. Cooper from Leeds United. Marco Royce, that's a big one. Big promo card for the game today. And it's a, finally a Marco Royce promo card. We haven't had one since like, you know, October for his Road to the Knockouts version. Um, we had his Silver Stars item, but we were due for another version of Marco Royce. We're going to be getting that today. That's a pretty special looking card. Quagliarella looks pretty dope. And then this is the master of all the foot captains today that everybody is excited for. Mr. 94 rated Marcelo. Again, this card looks disgusting. He's going to be very expensive. And it's probably going to be the number one most hyped card released on the game today in terms of a foot captain's promo card player. There's so much hype around this guy today. So that's a huge card that's dropping on the game today. I know you've seen this leak for Busquets. Again, this is the correct card design for the foot he, uh, for the foot captain's uh, promo team. I don't think Busquets is going to be um, uh, in the team today. I think he's going to be in team two. So we'll see if that happens or not. But... He is, I think, leaked to be in Team 2, so next week, maybe not today. But there's some awesome promo cards dropping on the team today, but it's not just one set of cards. It is two. Again, as you saw on the loading screen, and I'm going to take you guys back there and show you just one more time and even talk about how this might end up playing out today. If you take a look on this loading screen again, you take a look on the left, you see that second card design with a little bit of extra color in it, and you see a little bit of a leak here, right? Premier League 95 pace. Now, we're like, oh my goodness, that's a huge pace boost because all of the Premier League heroes that we currently have, none of them have higher than 88 pace. And it has been leaked, we do believe, that this 95 pace Premier League upgraded new version of a hero dropping today on FIBA 22 is Joe Cole. So if they're giving a Joe Cole card plus seven pace off of his normal hero's item, it sounds like EA are going to be boosting this list of heroes today 
incredible amounts and that has a lot of people excited as well for brand new hero cards right we've been talking about this this entire week knowing that this was going to come as a part of the promo but that's huge right if that is the actual like stats for a joe cole card just imagine what some of these other cards are going to look like so there's a lot of also you know it's like having two different promo teams that are released today um but you know they're they're foot heroes and foot heroes are still brand new to fifa 22 we haven't seen any upgrades to these cards until now they've definitely fallen a bit behind the curve they were very hype at the beginning of the year joe cole was 400k right that's pretty expensive when the rest of the market is so dirt cheap as it is this year. There's going to be a lot of hype for these cards today as well. That's why there's so much hype for these two different promo teams that are coming into packs today on the market. Now, we'll talk about cards and packs again in just a second because the market's going to be a very interesting place to watch with a lot of cards coming out today. Let's talk SBCs for a second. Fernandinho, I think, this is just my um, since it's the only SBC that we've had leaked, this is my guess at what card we would have today as an SBC. Fernandinho would be a really nice card if it's a great price. Again, Brazilian links, center defensive mid in the Premier League, Manchester City links as well. We don't really get ever uh, to use Fernandinho in FIFA because he's not that meta, but this may give us an opportunity to do so. So GG's EA, if those are the stats and if this SBC is not that expensive, that could be a dope card. So I'm kind of looking forward to this. That'll create some new squad building opportunities uh, with a card that you don't normally get to use in FIFA if that's at a good price today. And then our objective is uh, leaked to be Lars Stindl. Bundesliga teams might like uh, another either center attack in mid, center forward, maybe a box to box. I don't know what his work rates are um, or, or a striker. So that could be a nice objective card. Uh, that should be the objective that we do see today on Friday as a part of this game. Now, also content wise, this is something that's been leaked and we saw the market move a lot yesterday based on these leaks once again, is that we have Raul Beckham Zanetti and Bastian Schweinsteiger are added to come via SBCs. And we talked about this yesterday as well. EA has leaked that they are going to be dropping like this whole promo is about captains, right? So they leaked that they're gonna be dropping a moments icon player SBC every single day of this promo that relates to some sort of icon player that was a captain for their international team for their club or for their country right uh club or country those are the two options as of always right but you know schweinsteiger was one of those new ones to be leaked yesterday so his price dropped off a lot if you've noticed that on the market same thing with raul and zanetti i think all and, and beckham all those cards dropped off on the market from that panic selling i don't know if this is going to start today Honestly, I wouldn't expect it. I think the Icon Player SBCs might come later on in the week. Usually on Fridays, EA is all about the cards and packs and dropping the brand new cards on the market and making people open packs, spend FIFA points, stuff like that. That's the big focus for EA a lot of times on Friday. So we'll see if they do drop any Icon Moments Player SBCs today or if they save that uh, for later on later this week. So that, that's just kind of something to watch out for and keep an eye on today. Could be. A, power, a part of our foot captains content that we see today on FIFA 22 as well. Now, let's talk market because again, like I said, there's going to be a lot of market implications for what is happening on this game today. First of all, one thing that always is a matter of business on a promo Friday is the pack weight, right? And how packable the foot heroes cards A are going to be and B, how packable the foot captains promo items are are going to be again we'll be able to go in the store and check out the pack weight but one thing that kind of you know trumps or you know matters more than just the pack weight for the actual cards is you, you see this and i bet a lot of you guys have fifa accounts that look like this right now too saved up packs this past week there's been no special items out so a lot of people have been saving packs myself included now, EA knows this, and again, some people were doing that with Team of the Season in mind, which is what I was doing. I made a bunch of 75 plus times 5. I'm actually still going to save these for Team of the Season and not open them up right now for Foot Captains, but a lot of people have packs like this, and a lot of people today are going to see the Marcelo, the Ben Yedder, the new Foot Heroes cards that are out, and they're not going to be able to withstand keeping these packs unopened, and they're going to open them today. I think that's what EA is going to do today with dropping all these cards in packs, they're going to get a lot of people to open their saved up packs that they've been waiting 
to open. Now, some of you guys might still save. That's fine. It's up to you. There's no right or wrong answer, right? It's pretty easy to get packs in this game every week through, you know, rewards, SBCs and stuff like that anyway. So there's no problem with opening today or saving. All I'm saying is there's going to be a lot of supply today because we haven't had a promo week in the last week with cards and packs. And whenever that happens, we have tons of supply in that first hour because people have the saved up packs and they open them because there's now new items out. So I think that whatever the pack weight is for the, the captain's cards today, they're going to be supplied pretty heavily on the market. Now, if the pack weight is high, um, you know, the market is really down already and you have so many cards that have, that have dropped off in price because of the market crashing that we have had. And a lot of those prices have stayed lower because a lot of people haven't been wanting to buy cards, right? They've been running their untradeable teams. They've been doing SBCs um, and they've been running those cards in their squads instead of going out and buying players off the market. So with a market that's already pretty cheap, a lot of packs that are going to be open today. Yes, that means there's going to be some coins, you know, put onto the market as people open packs and sell cards and quick sell as well. Quick selling is actually what brings most of the coins onto the market because there's nobody buying that card when you're selling it. It's not a transfer of the coins. It's just like the items disappear and you get coins. So when you get down to the science of it, quick selling actually brings a ton of coins onto the market. And since there's gonna be a lot of those packs open today, there are going to be a lot of coins that come onto the market. So I do think that with the new cards that come out today, there is going to be some hype with them, but they might be decently cheap uh, because of all that extra saved up pack supply. And of course, the market is so cheap already. And a lot of people are not wanting to, to buy cards for their teams just because of that fear of prices dropping further. Um, but again, it's going to be a great day on the market in terms of a lot of fluctuations because of all these new cards that are coming out and all the coins that are coming onto the game. So that combination could mean some really good opportunities to trade and find fluctuations if that's what your goal is for today on the market. But for a lot of you guys, if you're just wanting to try out a brand new foot captains player uh, or a foot heroes player, then honestly, what I would say is watch their prices in the first hour. I don't. I really don't ever recommend buying cards in the first hour or really early on because again, EA is going to run lightning round today as well. And a lot of cards might get cheap for the first hour, then they might go up for like a two or three hour period, but then they'll probably come back down again later over the weekend. So if you hold a card for any longer than just a couple days, you're probably going to end up losing coins on it from the first day. Like it almost never happens where the cards are their cheapest on day one. Uh, but all I'm saying is I think there's going to be a decent amount of supply on the market today with saved up packs, but there's also a lot of hype with the brand new cards as well. So that's kind of where I'm coming from on the market today in terms of what to expect with these cards. They're going to fluctuate around a lot in price. I'm, I'm really curious to see how expensive the heroes are because again, this is, it seems to me like promo cards are one of the most packable special items in FIFA, right? You pack promo cards pretty often every week if you open enough packs, right? And, you know, you pack icons like once a year or, you know, not very often. It just depends on how insane your pack luck is, right? It's always random, but icons are really hard to pack. Promo cards are pretty easy to pack. I feel like this year in FIFA, heroes are kind of in that middle range. They're harder to pack than promo items, but they're also easier to pack than icons. So I'm really genuinely curious to see for the brand new hero cards that dropped today, um, how supplied and how cheap they're going to be on the market right away because especially by looking at the the boost that we saw for these cards and the stat boost i don't even want to think about how good this dina tally if they give him like a plus four or five overall this guy might have like 95 pace 97 pace like high 90 shooting i mean this card might look unbelievable and uh that might cause a whole nother set of panic on the market today how depending on how expensive and how cracked these foot heroes look but it's, it's just a day where there's a bunch of insane new cards coming into packs and the pack weight and the just, again, how scared people are on the market. If people really want to go out and buy cards today, uh, I think that with the coins coming on the market that they will, people will want to try out cards once they actually see the content get dropped today. So for the rest of the market, it's cards that are out of packs that have dropped off this entire week. Like we were looking at Foot Birthday Paqueta, right? Or maybe maybe a Foot Birthday Dybala. You know, some of these cards have been down really, really low. I would still keep an eye on them because I think some of your most meta items could bounce back a little bit today if there is some panic selling. I wouldn't expect a ton of panic selling this morning on Friday. Uh, a lot of people have already panic sold cards so far down that they're just really, really low in price. Uh, now, I know some of these cards that got upgraded yesterday have rebounded back up some because of the hype for the upgrade, but 
you know, I, I think that a lot of people are going to want to, you know, go out and play weekend league with cards today that they want to use and want to try. So that's why I think you'll see some of the out of packs cards rebound back a little bit on the market. But for everything in packs, there's going to be a lot of supply. And that, that also impacts SBC fodder as well. And I want to talk about this because SBC fodder is kind of on its way down, right? We had a, a peak kind of early middle on in the week. And now these cards are getting a little bit lower again. 86 is 14,000 coins. 88 is 32K. 89 is 40,000 coins, right? Lewandowski was like 95K early in the week. Now he's 76,000 coins. So these cards are continuing to trickle down in value a little bit themselves. So what I would say with fodder is, you know, if we have really good SBCs coming up this next week, this weekend's probably going to be a good time to stock up on some of this stuff um, as it goes lower today with all the supply that we do see. So that would be something, you know, the past couple of weeks and actually the last like month with fodder, the weekends have been really good times to stock up on this stuff and buy a little bit, put it in your club and then uh, sell it later on during the week. But again, we don't know how crazy EA is going to go with the lightning rounds this week as well. Is it going to be one of those weeks where EA is running the lightning rounds, um, you know, every single hour and during the nighttime and during the morning, that's really what's going to also impact the prices of foot captains and the foot heroes captains over this weekend is how many lightning rounds they're going to release. We've seen it in the past two promos where they've done like the 85, the 86 and the 87 star packs in the middle of the night. Um, and those packs sell out because people like them, right? And they pack high rated cards for them. That's the whole draw. And so I wonder if EA is going to do that again. So what you really want to watch for today is the first hour will be 50K lining rounds. Second hour will be 100K. Third hour will be 125s. And then after that is the question mark. Will they continue to run lining rounds after that for multiple hours? Or will they kind of stop? So that's one thing we'll be watching out for today because that could impact the market and prices a lot as well um, if you're trying to try some cards out on this game. Now, again, like I said, for panic selling, there might be a little bit this morning. Some of these cards that I bought yesterday, I bought Rooney's at 1 million coins. I bought this Fernando Torres at 930K. He rebounded back really well. So I'm making some coins here and on these like Smith Rose that I bought at 350, selling at 385, but I'm also losing some coins, right? I lost a lot of coins on Roberto Carlos because that Marcella was coming out today. Um, I did make some coins on this Lacroix. You know, it's a, it's a mixture of everything in between, making some coins, losing some coins, on these cards that I still have in my transfer list. I bought a Bushra at 1.3. I wanted to try him out. He's really not up that much in price. I'm going to see if I can sell him for like 1.39. I know I just went up like 3K, but I think I'll be able to sell him overnight for around that price. And I still have some other stuff lazy listed. So, you know, I'm going to try to get out of a few of those things um, tonight before. Well, this is tonight when I'm recording it, like Thursday night into Friday morning. Uh, so that I can, you know, get some of my coins back and liquid just because I want to be pretty liquid rolling into today. And then based on what the content looks like, based on what the supply looks like, make some movements uh, depending upon how that looks and how the hype is, right? Uh, again, the hype for today for me really depends on how cheap the cards are that come out in packs and also how good the stat boosts are. And also I would say that the uh, SBC price for a Fernandinho or whoever the SBC card is today uh, that will really impact the market a lot as well. Now, let's spend the last minute or two of this video talking about upgrades because EA not only upgraded fantasy foot cards yesterday at one of the most random times ever, they also upgraded the showdowns just a couple hours ago. Erickson is now a 92. The main man now got his 92 upgrade, which is awesome. His finesse shots are greater than ever. Uh, a lot of plus ones, plus twos that were uh, released. I guess they're going to upgrade these cards on Thursdays, which is a really random time. But that's when they're going to upgrade these. And then EA Sports upgraded these cards. Technically, today is the 8th. Um, but they upgraded them like for late night on the 7th, Thursday, for a lot of you guys that maybe are in like the America region, Central America or South Southern America, like on that time zone. Uh, that's when these cards got upgraded. But Weghorst gets his plus 2. Braithwaite gets his plus 2. Kent, no upgrade, unfortunately. Yarmolenko getting his plus one. Uh, those are just some of the cards that people are very hyped about. I mean, take a look at some of these upgrades that EA put out. Uh, this Carvalho card from Fulham looks pretty dope. Uh, that one, Gutza, of course, going to an 89. Aurier getting that plus two, one of the most unexpected upgrades. But no upgrade for Kent is definitely the biggest L and what people were most bummed about. But this Weghorst card is crazy. He's really, really nuts, I'll be honest. I've been using him. I put him in instead of Player of the Month of Bappe if I want to have some fun. 
he's he's just a tank he, he literally just everything in the air it's his it's it's a blast he's kind of it's a fun different way uh to play with this card on the game and then like i mentioned with the fantasy foot cards like the gelson martins that you saw go up in price yesterday after his upgrade uh the lucas Morrill went down you had a lot of fluctuations with the fantasy foot cards based off of their upgrades i just clicked on the same team let's go team two usman going to a 94 i mean like what even is that card Imagine a plus one upgrade uh, if he is able to play in two out of his next four league matches. I mean, this guy's going to have 90 uh, passing. He's going to be all 90s in the most important stats for his item. 93 shooting, probably 97 dribble. I mean, unbelievable end game card there. Still 5.7 million coins, which is crazy for that card right there. Alar had a nice uh, boost. This Hincape card looks even more insane after a plus one. Imagine two more upgrades on this card, right? So the fantasy cards are alive and well with that sort of hype too. Now, the last thing, we still have one type of upgrade that we are yet to see. And I don't know if EA is going to forget about this or not. I really hope they don't because I have some on my transfer list. Um, is a couple of our road to the finals are technically, by the way EA have spelled out the rules, do a plus one today because they won their first game of the Champions League competition after the road to the finals were released in packs. Manchester City did not win uh, since road to the final has been started, and they just won, of course, this last week. So guys like Kyle Walker, uh, Sadio Mane, Thiago, I think technically they're due according to the way EA has it listed on their website with the official upgrading rules and stuff. These cards are all due. Mares as well. So all the City and Liverpool cards are due a plus one. I don't know if that's going to end up happening today just because you never know with the A Sports, but I really, really, ooh, 630? Hey, yo, all right, I'm going to watch that. It's kind of low. But I really hope that EA go goes out and does that today. It'd be very, very nice. Uh, that could be like the last upgrade that we are expecting for any live cards on the game uh, at the moment. This Tiago, oh my gosh, he's 390, 381. That's so low, man. Wow, I really, my coin balance really needs this upgrade <laughs> today on the market. I'll be completely honest. I bought a couple of those too high earlier this week and, and never sold them before he dropped off. So I'm losing coins too, right? I'm right there with you boys. But uh, last thing as well, Jones and Laporte Showdown. Man, the price on these cards is solid. It is. But the upgrade in terms of stats is not. I mean, this Curtis Jones card, they needed to give uh, uh, Laporte and Curtis Jones needed to have like plus two or plus three in every stat category and then keep them at the same price on the game then it would have been a dope sbc but as the way this card looks right now he's behind the power curve even with the plus two he's still a little bit behind the power curve in my opinion but if you're a liverpool or a man city supporter they at least didn't make the sbcs like uber expensive that you have to you know turn in an arm and a leg to get him done it's like 200k for around both of them laporte is nice right no laporte specials this year curtis jones no no specials for him so I don't hate it if you're going and doing one of these, um, but I just don't think they're really great value or the cards are really that good. But if it's for sentimental reasons for that huge game coming up on Sunday, then I totally get it. But that's going to be the video for today, lads. Again, a lot of hype with the Foot Heroes captains and the Foot captains promo team coming out today in the game. We'll see what EA does with the pack weight and uh, with anything else crazy that they can do on the market or on the game today. I'm all for it. It's going to be a fun promo Friday. So if you're excited again, make sure to thumbs up. And of course, comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It has been Nate the Foot Account and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.